All right, we're just gonna have a wander outside. Craig's outside because, um, you know when you sell a car and sometimes you regret it, and you know, you kind of wish you bought it back. Well, Craig, that's kind of happened, except he can't buy it back. It's just one that he built several years ago. So I'm gonna turn the camera around and stick the microphone on Craig. Let's have a look. Well, this is bringing back a lot of memories. This, this, I built this about 30 years ago, I think. My kids grew up in this car. I took my kids to school and used to pick them up from school. And yeah, yeah, no, this is, um, this is pretty cool. So basically, this is a copy of Tricolor Taxis was the biggest taxi company in Perth in 57, 58, 59, and then Swan Taxis took over. Um, so yeah, basically I had an FC. I, I picked up a, a taxi sign at a swap meet one day and the woman said, oh, that was off my dad's um, FC taxi. And I went, oh, hang on. So then I started researching and it took me three years to find all the gear, find original pictures to get the color scheme and the, the, the you know, like the, the sign writing and all that sort of stuff. Um, you know, it's got the original two-way radio, the taxi meter, you know, it's got all the lights, it's, you know, it's got lots of, lots of stuff in it. So yeah, it's got the meter, two-way radio, you know, this is the, like these signs swivel around, so that's like the for higher sign, so they normally light up, light up sign on the roof. It's got the, the grab rail, this is what used to knock kids' teeth out because they'd be sitting in the back because you didn't have back seat belts. So they'd, uh, you'd slam the brakes on and they'd slide forward and hit this. So yeah, so my brother painted it and, and it's actually original paint. So this paint is 30 odd years old. Yeah. But it sat in, I, I, I used it every day for a few years a box trailer, carton timber and all that sort of stuff in it. And then, then Whiteman Park Museum opened up. So it went on display up there for a few years. Then they changed the display around. So I had to pull it out of there and I didn't have anywhere to store it. So I sold it to a guy who'd been pestering me for years to buy it. And then he... He cooked the motor, I think, in the first year of owning it, and so then it sat in his shed for a long time. Never went out again. No one's ever really seen it. And then Zeb got it, and um, he's had it for, what, three-odd years now, but he's actually got it regoed, put it over the pits, fixed a few things, fixed brakes and a bit of rust and that sort of stuff. And, um, yeah, now he's driving it around again. So, yeah, so it's um, it's just original grey motor so basically it's all original it's just that i had it lower but that was it so all he's done is he's got pin rocker cover on it original oil bath air cleaner it's supposed to be a grey motor but someone's painted it red i don't know why probably go faster but yeah certainly bringing back a lot of memories of just talking to zeb then and i'm just remembering all where I got all the parts from and all the bits and pieces and how the kids used to jump over from the back seat to the front seat and smash the interior light lens all the time and, you know, and how we used to always get um, a call, you know, like people, you'd be driving along the street and people would be trying to flag you down because they actually thought it was a real taxi. But Zeb's actually changed the, that used to say taxi up the top. But he was just telling me before, he's just changed that to engaged. He's had that made up and put in so that he doesn't get, <laughs> he doesn't get hassled all the time. But yeah, we used to get pulled over all the time. People would just sort of, they'd see it coming down the street and they'd just see the taxi sign. So they, and then they'd sort of go, oh, shit. Because <laughs> they, <laughs> I don't just drive past and wave. You know? <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. No, it's pretty cool. Good to see you.
So hopefully Zeb will start using it. Because that's the thing, I don't think it's really been out for probably over 20 years, other than what Zeb's, other than how Zeb's had it out. It probably hasn't been really seen for 20 years. You know? So just something a bit different, a bit of nostalgia. You know? Yeah. What's this? Okay. So this is, you know how you get into a new car now and you, you have Google Maps and it tells you where to go and your GPS? Well, this is old school GPS. So this is actually, has an electric motor on it and it's designed, you would cut out the speaker grill and you can see this is shaped to suit an FC speaker grill and it's proper pressed. It's, you know, it's, it's quite fancy. And this would sit in there and you'd go, oh, okay, I've got to, this is a Melbourne map on, you know, going to Geelong or whatever, and you'd click this and the, the map would roll around until you'd come up with the area you were going to. So instead of using a map book. Wow. It's crazy, isn't it? Old school GPS. Oh yeah. <laughs>